Yo, how's it going guys? Coming at you with top four Dallas Regionals. We got Dean with the Zorro pod uh, versus Drayden with the Zorro uh, garb. Uh, Drayden going first. Uh, Wob is coming down immediately. Skyfield, it looks like he hasn't looked at Shaman for setup. Yeah, I'd like, like to see the egg come down as well. Whoa, setup for two? That's hella low. That's super risky here from Jaden. I'd like to see him go bench egg, choice man. Uh, maybe not bench egg. Choice man active, though, at the very least, I would like to have seen. Um, he does get bailed out here. There's the battle compressor. Yeah, I would like to have seen him go choice man active, for sure, I think. Uh, egg bench, I guess, then he started. Oh, you have Skyfield, though. Um, actually, yeah, actually, because of the Skyfield play from Drayden, I definitely would like to have seen choice man active, egg on bench. Uh, you really want to maximize the setup. If you didn't have the Skyfield, I would have held the egg. But because of the Skyfield, I would have definitely. Uh, set up for the extra cards there. Um, yeah, you just want to draw more cards when you're in this kind of position. Definitely would have tried to go for the extra setup cards. Um, if you get rid of Guzma, Egg, uh, Bridget on Drayden's side. Uh, PS Seeker, Bridget. I think he has Ultra Ball in hand though. So I'm not a huge fan of this play when you could go Ultra Ball for Shaman or Ultra Ball for Lele for. Uh, yeah, Ultra Ball for Lele for, uh, what's it called? And then put a Chorus in your discard pile, and you have Via Seeker for Chorus on the following turn. He does have the Ultra Ball, yeah, so I don't like this play at all here from, uh, Drayden. I definitely would like to have seen him go with the Ultra Ball for Lele, for Bridget. Bridget for these, th these three, these three are fine. And then go follow up on that with, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, put a chorus in the discard pile instead of that Guzma, and then you have Via Seeker for chorus next turn. I like the chorus in the discard pile either way, because your bench could be limited by Dean, um, and then you want to have Via Seeker has an option to find chorus. Um, so I definitely would like to see chorus in the discard pile over Guzma every time here from Drayden. I don't like the uh, the Guzma in the discard pile. I definitely would like to have seen chorus at the discard pile for sure. I definitely would like to have seen the Lele for the what's it called into the uh chorus so let's go back i would like to have seen him go ultra ball get rid of egg and egg after the compressor compressor away uh chorus uh and two other things i guess you can get rid of guzma at that point ultra ball for lele for bridget bridget get these three pokemon still uh and then from there after you get those three pokemon uh make chorus one of your cards on the battle compressor then you have via seeker in hand ready to go for next turn to go via seeker for chorus um, so yeah, that's what I like, would have liked to have seen from Drayden. Uh, all right, we're going over to Dean now, though. Battle Compressor. Uh, he has two Battle Compressors in hand, I think. Getting rid of Egg. Should see Egg, Egg. I think he does play the two eggs, so we should see Egg, Egg hit the discard pile here. Uh, if he's got a Via Seeker, probably a Bridget. It looks like there is some Via Seeker, Via Seekers in hand. Um, and a Shaman. And another Battle Compressor and a Floatstone and a Lele. So yeah, I like to see Bridget hit the discard pile here as well for Dean. Um, and if I was Dean, I would play like my active is going to be knocked out. And I would just go ahead and fill my bench with three Pokemon here. Probably want to grab Sudowoodo, uh, Zerua, Zerua. Um, I don't know what else you'd really want here as Dean. Sudowoodo for sure if it's in the deck um, from Dean. Shuffling up, but I think he is going back in. Second Battle Compressor. All right, here we go. So here I would like to see a Chorus hit the discard pile as long as there's both in the deck. If not, a different kind of draw supporter for sure. Um, I only see, oh, there is two Chorus, so I'd like to see one hit the discard pile. The thing we're, the, the, what we're trying to play around here is red card, potentially. Um, looks like he's lined up Faba, AZ, N. I definitely want to see some kind of draw supporter hit the discard pile. In case you get red carded, something like that. Um, yeah, I like, I like, I prefer the Chorus. Definitely like to see at least the N. Um, there's the Via Seeker for the Bridget from Dean. And like I said, probably want to see Sudowoodo, uh, if it's in the deck. And then Zerua, Zerua. I see Zerua, Zerua. There's Sudowoodo. Yeah, I want to see Zerua, 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 Zerua Sudowoodo here from uh, from Dean. Play like your opponent's going to knock out their act, your active. They probably are. Um, and get that extra extra Pokemon on the bench right now. If they don't knock out your active, well, it'll feel bad actually for a turn if you don't top deck anything. Because you won't actually be able to do anything. Um, but it probably won't be too bad. Um, so there we go. Zerua, Zerua, Sudowoodo. Close on Lele. And... I don't know if the last card in his hand actually is. And yeah, there's the pass back over to Drayden from Dean. Uh, Wabba hits the discard pile. Uh, Zork to the active here for Drayden. Uh, trade. Let's see Lele, Garb, and uh, Zerua. Shouldn't see the Garb come down yet. Should definitely prop twice, Ultra Ball, get a Zorark, and trade again. There we go. Prop twice. Ultra Ball. 
grab another Zorark. There it is. And then we're going to see another prop trade, I assume. And this is why I would have liked to have seen him, like I said, set up the other way. Go Lele for Bridget, get a Coruscant and discard pile with the Compressor, and then you just have Via Seeker for Coruscant at the beginning of your turn. This is all kinds of trying to top deck now here from Drayden. Um, yeah, he needs, he needs so much more to go right for him than if he had just played it the other way. There's trade. One, two. There's an N, but that's not a, uh, that's not a Chorus. Definitely want to see something better than that. Garb should come down for sure. I would like to see the tool on the Garb as well here from Drayden. Whoa. Yeah, definitely want to see the tool on the Garb here from Drayden. Um, he could have also benched that Zerua as well. He would have got another Zerua in play. Got the, got the turn two ability lock, which is super nice to get off in the Zorak mirror matches. Um, and then shut, shut Dean off from abilities, um, as well as, uh, get another Zerua in play. Uh, so I definitely would like to have seen that from Jaden. Choice man on the guard. Uh, Zerua on the bench. Um, yeah, definitely don't like not benching Zerua. Definitely don't like, do not like the not putting the choice man on the garb. Turn two ability lock garb is so good when you're ahead. Sure, he doesn't have the DCE yet. Um, but who knows if Dean's going to get anything on his next hand. Um, there's the six here from Drayden. He has access to tools again. Now he's putting the float zone on. Un like, unnecessary to make himself have to dig for another tool, though. So I don't like that there. Um, over to Dean. Uh, I can't quite see his whole hand. He does have a computer search, and I see some Ultra Balls as well. Looks like he's going to get rid of the bunny and a Skyfield off the computer search here. Probably go for a Colrus, I would imagine. We'll see. Yeah, looking at his hand, it looks like a Colrus is the way to go here from Dean with this computer search. Well, look, I end up the field blower. He does have he does have access to do two eggs and two ultra balls, so that means he could trade twice. So actually, I don't hate the field blower here from Dean at all, actually. Um, and then you'd even got the option to maybe go like you you should be able to find a way to play a draw supporter. Dean did put the chorus in his discard pile with the battle compressor, um, so he just needs a via seeker to get off a chorus this turn potentially. Yeah, get rid of the skyfield, get rid of the rid of the uh, stone prop double prop ultra ball. Should see a Zork. Boom, there it is. Double prop, Ultra Ball. Boom, another Zork. I don't like him getting this Zork here. Um, he's gonna go for a Zork here. Let's just make sure, I guess. Yeah, I don't like him grabbing this Zork here because you ideally want to set up three, maybe four Zorks. Um, I don't like him putting the Zork on the Ditto. I think you definitely want to leave that open for Muck. Yeah, I don't like that evolution or possibly what's it called? But if his Muck is prized, then I guess it's fine. Um, the evolution here. Um, but, he, but if he plans to do this evolution, you definitely don't want to Ultra Ball again until you trade because. You want to, if you're, if you're doing this, you definitely want to try potentially set up a third trade Zorark. So you want to trade into a Zorark. That means no matter what, especially when your hand doesn't allow you to get another Zorark, you would ideally trade first. If you hit another Zorark, then that's maybe when you go Ultra Ball for the third Zorark, because you might want to leave this Zerua open for a stand-in Zorark. Um, so Ultra Balling immediately, the second Ultra Ball here from Dean makes no sense. You should 100% prop trade first, try and draw into another Zorark GX, and then Ultra Ball for a Zorark GX. Increase your chances of finding a Zorark GX out of your deck by not getting in with the Ultra Ball yet. Um, here we go. Prop trade one here from Dean. Prop trade two. Let's see what his options are now. He has DC, DCE. He has Via Seeker. There's a third one. See, and that he drew into it anyways, but he may as well increase your chances of drawing into it. Uh, DCE active. Um, hasn't played a supporter yet. And there's a chorus. All right, so he's going to be able to punch the active Zork for 100 here. Um, I'm not sure if he had access to Guzma there. I think he might have. I'd, if Dean did have access to Guzma, I 100% would like to have seen him Guzma knock out this benched Garbodor over punching this active Zork. Uh, keep Pseudowoodo online, um, which definitely just gives you an advantage as the Zoropod, Zoropod player. But I'm not sure if he actually had access to Guzma. I thought he had Via Seeker, and I think he put the Guzma in the discard pile with one of the compressors. But I'm maybe mistaken on that. Uh, looking at his hand, the rest of the hand's pretty good. I would not attach the choice band here immediately as Dean. Hold on to that for right now. I'm just right as beating for 100. There's a prop. Not sure what he has access to. He maybe just wants to keep access to the egg, uh, which makes sense to me. I would maybe prop even the other one. There's a hit for 100, but access to one of them is, is still pretty nice. All right, over to Drayden now. Uh, he has Dowsing Machine in hand, so I would imagine this is going to go for a... Yeah, and this is why actually knocking out the garbage was really important. If Dean had the play for it next turn, it would prevent uh, Drayden from being able to get around Sudowoodo on this turn, meaning he can't one-shot your Zorark. Um, yeah, the Skyfield comes down, um, and then we see the Chorus for 8 here from Drayden. So I definitely expect uh, Dean's Zorark to be knocked out this turn, 100%.
still has access to do two eggs for two basic Pokemon. There's two more basic Pokemon. Eight. There is no DCE yet here from Drayden. Uh, should see some prop trades coming through right now. Prop trade one. And prop trade two coming up. This is the last chance to get the DCE. Oh no, no DCE here from Drayden. That's a big whiff. Um, yeah, it kind of leaves you with like no plays yet. And there's just the pass. I can't see his full hand, so I don't know if I would have done anything. Would have liked to have seen him do anything different. But that is a huge whiff here from uh, from Drayden. Here's the prop. Or here's the trade one here from Dean. Um, we should see the prop trade two coming up. I think I would still like to have Dean KO the Garb here if he can. I'm sure he'll be able to KO the Garb this turn. Um, sometimes the Zoro Garb players play Acerola. They rarely do, though. So this damage on the Zork is staying in play forever. So all, all I would like to see from Dean is get rid of this Garbodor. Uh, make it so you can't be ability locked anymore. Um, make it so Drayden's bench is currently stuck with a Shaman in play. Zorok with damage in play. Um, and he can't do anything to really uh, clear off his bench. Um, and you'll just actually just win the prize trade from here as Dean if you just KO this Garbodor now. And I'm sure he has outs to KO the Garbodor after this triple trade. So I really want to see him KO the Garbodor here on uh, Drayden's side. There's the Guzma. There's a Grass. So he 100% can KO the Garbodor here. Um, and I think that this would pretty much lock Drayden out of any chance to win this game with the pseudo Wudo on Dean's bench. Keeping Drayden locked at four bench. Uh, like I said, there's a Shaman here that can be knocked out for two prizes. There's a Garb. He could Sky Return the Shaman, but you don't really care about that. If he Sky Returns the Shaman, you knock out this Garbodor or another Trubbish that comes down. Um, so I know he has access to the Guzma knockout, but it looks like he's not going to go for it. He's going to knock out the active, um, which is like uh, the next best play, I guess. But there's really only ever one right play, and I think it is definitely knocking out the Garbodor here on Drayden's bench. Really would lock him out of the game, I think. But yeah. Going to see the knockout on the active Zorark. There's definitely potential for Drayden to come back into the game now through a knockout with his own Zorark plus uh, N plus Garbotoxin. Yeah, there's still so Drayden is still in this game for sure. Um, the power of N plus Garbotoxin is... Uh, it's powerful. There's the DCE finally from Drayden. A little late, um, but he has the potential to pull off the play now. Uh, don't forget to propagate your eggs. There's the DC. There's the choice band. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't forget to propagate your eggs. And then ideally an N here from Drayden. Only props one egg. There's the second prop. Thinking for a second here. Klefki comes on to the garb. Um, if he does play N, I did see a float stone in hand. So instead of the Klefki, I think I would have maybe liked to have seen him go Lele for N. Um and then uh Lele for N and then attach the float zone to the garb. Um so I definitely would like to see him play N here. Oh he does, it's in the discard pile though, actually, I think. So yeah, we get the structure as well for Azura. I was gonna say the next thing he needs to definitely find is some Zaruas. Um uh, but he has he has VA Seeker for N here, I think. Yeah, so actually this is fine then. He he had access to N the whole time. That's oh, right, he played N turn one. Yeah, there's the VA Seeker for the N. And this is why I was saying it was so important for Dean to KO the Garbador. Now Dean is being fully punished here by uh by Drayden. Uh ability lock plus the N. Um and yeah, that's that's the full punish here from Drayden. Uh knocking out the uh Dean's active Zorark and him to four with ability lock guard. Like I said, I think if Dean had just he had Guzma and he had a DC on the active, so we could put grass on the Zerua. Guzma up the Garbodor, retreat the Zerua, knock out on the Garbage Riders beating. If Dean had just knocked out the ability lock guard, I'm pretty sure Dean just wins this game hundred percent of the time. Or, you know, as close as you can get to being like for sure, for sure, about a game being over. Um, he gets very close to just almost 100% winning this game, but now I'm not too sure. It depends on these four cards here for Dean. It's going to be a big turn for Dean. If he whiffs here, like pretty much anything besides a one shot, uh, he's going to be in trouble. And I think he actually had the stand in Zork in, as well in his last hand. I definitely would like to have seen that come down on the Zerua after the play he chose to make. Cause he, you have to know there's the potential that Drayden will one shot your Zork next turn. That's how Zoro Garb works. That's how the deck runs. Right? Um, so I definitely, as Dean, I definitely would like to have seen the stand in Zork come down here and we see he does draw the DCE here. Um, so he's be, being punished for not evolving to the stand in Zork, um, and not having just an immediate response, uh, knockout response here. Um, so yeah, don't like that play as well from Dean. He's bringing up this other Zork, it looks like. I can't really tell what his hand is. AZ, Choice Band, DCE, Grass, Float Stone. So absolute uh, garbage. <laughs> um, I definitely want to see him. Well, I don't even know. AZ, his active, I guess, would be fine. Yeah, I think AZ, his active, and then send up the... Uh... Oh, we don't want to do that because then there's the Ditto, that, and you could stay ability locked. 
Um, yeah, Floatstone, I think, is going to have to be it. Floatstone to Sudowoodo and pass. Uh, so the Klefki will leave play. Um, so Drayden will lose some bench Pokemon Grass to the bench arc as well. I'm fine with that. Um, once again, this is this is Dean getting punished for uh, a couple things here. One, not killing the ability lock arb. Like I, I definitely think he should have. And then two, could have put the stand in and play. He's, he does have a DC in hand. He would have been able to respond to this Zorak with a knockout. Um, yeah, the punish is happening here. There's another Zorak from Drayden. Uh, not a whole lot else going on in the hand. Doesn't have a tool to return on the ability lock arb. I don't think he has access. No, he does have access to Guzma. He put that in the discard pile at the beginning of the game. Um, Ultra Ball, those two away. Should see another Zerua grab here if there is one. Yep, there it is. Um, he does need to find a tool for the Garbodor for sure. He cannot let Dean get access to abilities again on his next turn. Ideally, he also knocks out a Zorak GX in play. Uh, he has the Via Seeker for that, so he just needs a tool card, I believe. Uh, there's the first prop trade. Just needs a tool card. I did not see what he got. There's an Ultra Ball. Gonna prop twice again. Ultra Ball those away. Keep thinning out the deck. I like this. Maybe being very finish, efficient with his thinning. Uh, very few Pokemon left in the deck. He's going to end up grabbing a Garbodor. Uh, and then we'll have one more prop trade. Needs a tool card here. He needs a tool card here. Shuffling it up nice, <laughs> nice and shuffled. Um, should just see another prop trade here, I think. Or he could trade away the ability lock card. But I think prop trade is a little bit better. He might need that later on. I don't see a tool card at all here. Um... Another Garb comes down, but there's no tool card. So we definitely want to see a Via Seeker for a Chorus here from Drayden. Get a tool card uh, for sure. He just needs to get a tool card. Um, it's not the biggest uh, whiff ever. He can still get a tool card. He knows Dean ha Dean's hand is currently dead and will still be living off his top deck as long as you find a tool card um, and be able to keep, hopefully, uh, just running over Dean for the rest of the game. That's his plan, uh, despite having to knock out the pseudo Widow here. Knocking out the pseudo Widow is not great, but... There's some Floatstones. All right, and a Klefki. Klefki can't work, though, but there's a Floatstone. That works perfectly. Uh, definitely want to see the Klefki hit the bench here. There it goes. And there it is. Right is beating for the knockout, drawing another prize card here for Drayden. I definitely would have liked to have seen him prop his eggs, though, I think, before he did that, just so he could potentially fill his bench next turn without having to field blower away the Floatstone. So I think I definitely would have liked to have seen him prop his eggs, especially knowing that Dean is living off the top deck here. I would have liked to have seen uh, Drayden uh, prop the eggs. Yeah, definitely. Definitely would like to see him prop the eggs, knowing Dean's living off the top deck. All right, Dean's going to have to come up with some kind of play here. I think it's going to have to be Riders beating for 60 and then hopefully draw into more stuff from there to be able to clean up. Can't quite see Dean's hand. Oh, there's a DC. So yeah, Riders beating for 60. Don't want the float stone uh, on a Zorak, I think. So I think you want to attack with the active Zorak here. Yeah. Now he has Choice Man for the bench Zorak as a follow-up. He's just going to the retreat into the other Zorak, it looks like, though. Um... Yeah, I don't like that. I think I would, like, would have liked to have seen him go DC to the active Zorak there. Um, but he does switch. Yeah, because that way he saved the choice man for the one with the two grass energy. So yeah, I would have preferred to see that for sure there from uh, from Dean. Um, Field Blower removes the float. Uh, both floats. He has to discard. No, he doesn't discard a Pokemon here anymore, actually, because Dean Sudowoodo is knocked out. Um, so he's actually in a fine spot. Oh, okay. I guess that doesn't really matter then. Uh, but I still have, like to see him prop his eggs. Yeah, I still would have liked to see him prop his eggs. I guess it goes back to the eggs, and I still would have liked to see him propped. Um, so he can definitely get the knockout here on this, uh, what's it called? Uh, Zorak, that should be no problem for Drayden. He's eyeing up a Klefki here. Um, I don't, yeah, Klefki might be fine. He can just chain Klefkis here from here on out, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's really anything else for him to grab. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe they're saying he already grabbed the Klefki. He did already grab the Klefki. Uh, not that big of a deal. Should be able to grab two eggs here. He needs one more bench Pokemon. He has a Lele in hand. Um, because the Klefki, one of the Klefkis has to make its way to the Garb. I definitely would like to see him Wonder Tag here. Wonder Tag, maybe play the Colrus. I don't really know what he has in his hand. He doesn't have that much left in the deck, so he might have everything he needs in the hand. He might not need to play a Colrus here. Um, I'm gonna go with the Colrus though, so it looks like he wants a little bit extra. I would have definitely propped and benched the eggs though, if I was Drayden. He only has to bench one egg too. One, two, three, four. Could have propped both eggs. Clefkeed, bench the eggs. Yeah, so there's no reason to have not, unless he's going to deck out, but I don't think he's going to deck out. So I definitely would have liked to have seen him go Clefkey to Garb, or prop both eggs, Clefkey to Garb, bench both eggs, uh, play the Colrus, draw those two extra cards, unless it was going to cause him to deck out, but I don't think it was. Um, so yeah, definitely a mistake there from Drayden not drawing the two extra cards, because the eggs are going to make their way to the bench anyways, um, unless he plants a bench of Shaman instead, but I would like to see just both eggs make their way to the bench. 
Yep, there's a the Klepki, and then both eggs are going to make their way to the bench. So yeah, like I was saying, there's no reason to have not done this before and draw the extra cards off Colrus, because I don't think he's anywhere close to being deck decking out here. Um, so yeah, Dean is going to need a lot here. I don't even know what he could get here. Um, and DCE is a start, and uh, Stand and Zorak's a good follow-up. Uh, Via Seeker, it has to be for N, um, and then he's going to have to draw... Oh, it's going to go for the Faba off the bench one, and then knock out... Yeah, I don't I don't think that ever does anything. He definitely needed to go for N there as Dean, and then you need to, like, draw into... Oh, man, you would have to have drawn into, like, Field Blower. No, because you can't limit his... Well, how much... You could have limited his bench by a little bit, right? What if he went down to four bench, you could have done one, ten, or... To the four bench would be 230 plus the choice band. So, yeah, Dean needed to go end there and draw into field blower plus stretcher for pseudo Wudo. Um, and then he would have been able to knock out the active and limit uh, Drayden's bench to four. Drayden would have had, well, he could have got to at the egg. Uh, I don't think there's any real real way for Dean to come back in that one, actually. I don't know. That was rough. Uh, I guess the fob is about as good as anything. I can't come up with a good way for Dean to come back in that. Yeah, fob is about as good as the next thing. Um, so, a little bit of sloppy play from both players. Uh, Drayden, I think, really butchered his turn one. Uh, Dean uh, was pretty smooth on the turn one, but then in the mid-game, definitely butchered not Guzmin. Uh, not evolving to the stand-in, but that was after he did it not Guzma the ability lock arm. But then from there, there was nothing else for him really to to make uh, make plays on anyways. Um, but I think Drayden could have definitely been very punished by the way he played out his turn one there. Um, definitely would like to have seen that played differently. Uh, and then Dean... I, yeah, I think Dean would have won that game. Dean would have been very favored if all he had done is just Guzma and knock out the Garbodor. It would have been a very good spot uh, for sure. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to game two. We will have Dean going first this time, um, which is a big deal in the uh, the Zorark Mirrors in general. Going first is, is pretty good in Zorark Mirrors. Um, there we go. Prize is set out. And all right, let's get it. Lele start here from Dean. Not good, um, but hopefully the rest of his hand is decent. I see a battle compressor and a via seeker. Uh, ooh, but I don't see any follow up to the Bridget potentially. I think you still go for Bridget here as Dean for sure. Uh, egg, and I would like to see him get rid of a Colrish just in case he draws into another via seeker. Um, and then he can uh, use that to get the um, the chorus there. So yeah, definitely want to see Egg AZ. Was it Egg AZ? Colrus or not egg az egg bridget Colrus yeah and then we should see the via seeker for the bridget there it is via seeker play bridget should just see him grab ditto zarua zarua uh no i like the sudowudo here actually would like to see sudowudo zarua uh ditto i definitely want to see the sudowudo come out here it can be really punishing on the turn one for the zorgar player if they have to use like a shaman or something to dig early on i like i like getting the sudowudo turn one in the zorak mirrors for sure it also means that sometimes they won't be able to grab their own sudowudo if they go for lele for bridget it's like really you can really punish them if they go like zarua uh ditto sudowudo and then you can go like guzma knock out the ditto and then they're stuck with just one zarua for their turn so yeah from dean i definitely would like to have seen him grab the sudowudo here um super effective uh when going first in the zorak mirror matches all right he's gonna go for those though uh dce to zarua i'm fine with that can be punished by Lacey, Lele, DC, Guzma, but eh, so be it. Get over at uh, Drayden's hand. It does not look like he has a great start. Has the compressor, though, um, so we should see Egg. I would like to see Egg, Egg, Colrus here, I think. He's going to go for Egg, Egg, Bridget. He might have a Via Seeker in hand. Definitely want to see a draw supporter hit the discard pile. I don't think he has a Via Seeker in hand. Um, I definitely want to see a draw supporter hit the discard pile, because at some point, Bridget is just too slow. Um, if your opponent is far enough ahead when you're dead drawing, but chorus is a potentially enough to get you back in, or like a N is potentially enough to get to, to get you back in the game. There's a red card on Dean's four card hand, prop an egg to the hand and bench it. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely would have liked to have seen him grab a draw support. Like I said, at some point using Bridget for your turn is just too slow, especially when your hand is currently what Drayden's hand is, which is pretty much just a dead. Um, I think I would have liked to have seen him go, like I said, egg. Chorus Bridget or Egg Egg Chorus even and leave the Bridget in the deck. Yeah, I think I actually I think Egg Egg Chorus is just better. Yeah, I'd like to see an Egg Egg Chorus or something like that. I don't like I don't like uh, not putting a Chorus in the discard pile or at least an N. Uh, so red card to four here for Dean finds a Wimp Pod. <laughs> I don't think he finds much else though. Skyfield Wimp Pod Grass DCE something. I can't tell what the last card is. It's definitely not good with the way he's shuffling his hand. We see the grass come down to Lele. I like that. Give that, make that a pivot for the game. And it might just be passed from here. 
Um, okay, I don't like that as much though, because he had Wimpod, so that means if he top decks Galissapod, he could have first impression this Shaman. Um, so I would have liked to have seen Wimpod, Bench Wimpod attach Grass, I think, here as Dean. I don't know why he didn't do that. And then that means if he top decks Galissapod, he can retreat first impression, knock out this Shaman. Um, but now he's limiting his top decks a little bit by not doing that. So Grass with Wimpod, also, if you can ever get to an Armor Press, the Zorak deck actually has no way to one shot a Galissapod that Armor Presses. So I definitely don't. I don't like the grass active, and because he has a Wimpod, 100% would have liked to see the grass on the Wimpod. I guess he's thinking if he fills up his bench and then gets a Shaman or something, he won't be able to uh, evolve that. But then we could go grass to Ditto at the very least from Dean. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah, getting to an armor press is super nice in this matchup. All right, then we see an Ultra Ball here from Drayden. Uh, probably going to see a Lele for a Chorus. Like I was saying, at this point, you just kind of have to use a draw supporter. <laughs> um, can't use a Bridget, so that's what I'm saying. I would have liked to have seen the, the Chorus hit the discard pile sooner. Um, so that way if you top decks via Seeker, you just have to be like, okay, I gotta commit to Chorus here. Um, I mean, there's no, there's maybe no Bridget in his deck for him to grab anyways with the Lele now. Um, once again, Chorus can get you everything. Um, sometimes Bridget is too slow. Uh, we see one Zerua here from Drayden. We see a Klefki. Via Seeker, Dazzling Machine, Special Charge, nothing great. Uh, I don't, yeah, no reason for Klefki to hit the bench here. Uh, draw from Dean. It is a Zorark, and he will be able to trade here, finally. Prop trade. And Chorus, not great, uh, but the better than nothing. Hopefully, we see Wimpod hit the field here, finally, from Dean. There's the pod. Another DC to another Zerua. I like this as well. And then we'll see the Chorus for seven here. Looking for a way to knock out the Shaman. Uh, and hopefully, some more Zorark GXs. For, uh, for Dean. Once again, I would have liked to see the Grass Energy probably hit the uh, the Ditto or the Wimpod. I guess you could... I, I understand not benching Wimpod there from Dean because of the pseudo Wudo. Kind of a long pause there for me. Um, but I think it should definitely have hit the Ditto at least. Um, you know you're not going to be able to lock next turn. Maybe he wants to keep himself access to the Muck. I guess that's reasonable as well. Um, don't see... Ooh. No more Zorox here for Dean. Uh, but he does have another Zerua, which means the Shaman should be toast this turn. He also has the Stand and Zork, so if his Zork gets knocked out, he has the immediate response of Stand in for the knockout. Um, I don't think he has to be aggressive with the Stand in here. He still has access to abilities. He's not getting N plus ability. Uh, Garbotoxin locked, so I, I'm fine with him holding the Stand in on this turn. There's the Muck I see in his hand. Um, so he will be able to like play for one shots this turn, uh, potentially on. Um, Drayden's Pokemon. There's a Skyfield. He has an Ultra Ball, uh, one egg, so he'd have to discard two cards out of hand, so it's probably just going to be a V-Seeker for Chorus. V-Seeker for Chorus. I definitely want to see the egg hit the bench, I think, and then Chorus for plus one card. Choosing to leave the egg in the deck, not a huge fan of that. Um, you only have one Zerua, so you're only going to be able to trade once. Ultra Ball. If you're going to be using Ultra Ball, you're going to be trying to get your hand lower so you can Shaman set up. Um, I also am not a big fan of the Skyfield hitting the field, I don't think. Um without the egg hitting the field. If you're gonna commit the Skyfield, I just don't think I like the Skyfield hitting the field in general here from Drayden. Um, Cause the chance of you hitting a one shot here is like ridiculously low with what uh, your current uh, setup you have going on is. Looks like just Battle Compressor for N here. There's probably something else you could get rid of, but it might, might be just the N. Um, props egg, he has an Ultra Ball, so it's gonna get rid of egg, Guzma. Gonna get a Zorak here, trade for one. Once again, though, the chance of him getting the one-shot is super low, and now you just gave Dean Skyfield, um, so I definitely don't like the Skyfield placement. Yeah, if I was if I was Drayden, I would have played that, like, um, if he is going to put the Skyfield in play, I would have liked him to see him put the egg on the bench, draw the extra card. Um, but I think, ideally, you just don't put the Skyfield in play, you just course for eight, try and find a DC and smack the Zork. Don't give Dean access to the Skyfield. The chance of you hitting a one-shot here is so low, it's uh, it's insane. It's so ridiculously low, the chance of you hitting the, uh, the one-shot here. Um, red card Dean, that's pretty good. Uh, DC active and then hit for 80. Uh, yeah, but you did give Dean Skyfield, and I would not be surprised for Dean to, to see Dean get the one shot here. There's a stretcher for a Shaman. Oh, so I guess he's going to keep digging. Um, definitely wants to find some more basic Pokemon, so I like this. Definitely finds, wants to find some more Zeruas. Uh, Alright, he gets Pseudo Widow here. Um, so that will limit Dean's bench um, and a propagation. Oh, he hasn't traded yet, so the propagation trade here comes through. Hopefully, some Ultra Balls, hopefully, some Zeruas. Alright, we got Zerua. Uh, once again, this is why I would, I would like to have seen uh, Dean with the, um, what's it called? Oh, actually, did he hit it? 
<laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. He actually did. He hit the one shot, I think. I think he has choice band in hand. Yeah, wow. He actually hit the one shot. I, I did not see that. I did not think he was going to be able to get there. Um, I would have, yeah, like I said, I would have still liked to have seen him not dig for it. The chance of him hitting it is pretty low, but he ends up with it here. Uh, I think he's going to grab the ditto here. Yeah, there's the ditto grab. I actually don't like the ditto grab here from Drayden. I think I would like to have seen a Zerua. Uh, or actually, probably just a Trubbish. Um, because it's very likely Dean will be putting... Uh, it's possible Dean puts Muck out next turn, which means that Ditto is kind of locked up to do nothing for the rest of the game. Uh, he won't for sure put the Muck out, but it's possible he gets the Muck out, and then that will lock you out of the Ditto. Uh, meaning you only have one Zerua to work with. So I definitely would like to see him grab a Trubbish. I'm not sure what's better, the Trubbish or the Zerua, but definitely something else. 7, 8. There's a knockout. All right, over to Dean. Looking for the stand-in Zorak on this one for sure. He has a DC and a Choice Band. I'd like to see both of those hit the active... Uh, Zerua, and then we should see a Via Seeker for a Chorus here from Dean. Stand in Zorak will take out this Zorak, um, and then there's no reason for Dean to... Oh, yeah, see, this is what I see. If you're going to commit, put the egg on the bench, get the extra draw. I'd like to see that from Dean. Um, and then there's no way for uh, Drayden to get rid of a Shaman besides Field Blower and his own Skyfield, which is a little awkward, um, but we could see it. We could also see Dean just go with a Zorak GX knockout here, forcing Drayden to keep his bench filled and knock out with his own Zorak GX. Well, he could use Stand and Zorak at that at that point, I guess. We could see Dean go with like Muck plus Zorak GX fill bench. Oh, he would need the Muck if he wants to go Zorak GX fill bench. So Muck plus Zorak GX fill bench, shutting off the Pseudo Widow, shutting off the Ditto, forcing Drayden into just one Zorak on the Zerua. Um, but I think Stand is probably the ideal play here from Dean. I'm sure we'll see the Stand and come out. Um, but like I said, if he doesn't put what's it called in play, um, if he does not put a, um, think about getting rid of grass over Mr. Mime, potentially to fill your bench, I guess I'm fine with that. If, he, if Dean does not put Sudowoodo in play, then Drain is going to have to find a way to get rid of that Shaman himself, because that Shaman is definitely looking like a, uh, win condition here for Dean. Uh, yeah, he grabs the... Zorak, I think he has another Ultra Ball in hand, so he'll definitely be able to get access to the stand-in Zorak. I'm curious to see if he goes for the Muck or the Zorak GX knockout here. I think he should have, he'll probably have access to both here. I'm um, then which which one he chooses to go with. There's the prop trade. Yeah, two Ultra Balls in hand, so he's got access to a lot. Ultra Ball in my Skyfield uh, and Mr. Mime, it looks like. Nah, definitely want to propagate once, it just depends on what you get rid of from there. It's going to be Mr. Mime Egg. So he's definitely going down the route of the stand-in Zork for sure here from Dean. Probably see another Zork GX out come out probably and put it on the Ditto, I would imagine, and then trade first. I'm not sure what he would be saving the Ditto for. Yep, there's the Zork GX, um, and that should go on the Ditto. And then he has another Ultra Ball in hand that he'll be able to use to get the uh, get the stand-in Zork. And I think he's fine with just leaving. Uh... Yeah, that guy's traded. He's thinking about Ultra Balling right now. I think I'd like to see him trade first. There's a Propagation. So he is going to Ultra Ball right now. Going to get rid of a Skyfield. Okay. I think Dean does play three Skyfield. He's a Skyfield heavy Zoropod. Um, Ultra Balls those two. Looking at the Muck. No, definitely want the stand in. Yeah, definitely want the stand in here from Dean. Grabs it. Um... Could potentially leave the Ditto open to potentially make it another stand in Zorak on the following turn. I'm trying to think if that would be worth Nah, because Trading will probably try and limit his bench and then get rid of it. Yeah, this is this is better here, I think, from uh from Dean. There's a communication. I'm not sure what he's getting rid of with this. Getting rid of a Zorak GX. Maybe he's just burning it. He's gonna just gonna grab another Zorak GX. Oh no, he's going for the muck. Okay, so he wants to go with the muck play here. Alright. Alright, I can see that. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so he does end up going with the Muck here. So he's going to go Muck plus Stand in Zorak knockout. Uh, what does the Muck really do for him? Is it worth it? Yeah, I like it because it shuts off the Ditto. And I talked about that. I mentioned this a little, a little bit ago, right? Um, you get to shut off the Ditto, leaving Drayden with just one option for a Zorark um, from here. And that's why I said I didn't like the Ditto pull here from Drayden because of the possibility of the Muck, um, which I'm assuming Dean is going to put into play here. Yep. And now Drayden only has one option, um, and that is the... Uh, <laughs> the Zerua on his bench. Can't make a Garbodor, can't do anything like that. There's the Rise Beating Knockout here from Dean. He also benches his own Sudowoodo. Um, I like that, I think. Does it do anything bad? No, I don't think so. So there's Zorak with the DCE here for Drayden. Uh, also Dean's 
Uh, Zorak on the bench does have a DC and a choice band. Um, so this is going to be a tough one for Drayden to get out of, I think. He needs to find a field blower, field blower away his own sky field, and then relimit his bench. Uh, he goes for an N here, ending Dean to two. So if he is able to find the field blower, comboed with his N to two, it's definitely possible we can see Drayden uh, make the comeback here. But he needs to find that field blower. He has to get rid of that sky field. Um, make it harder for Dean to get the knockout on his turn. I guess Dean still needs a lot of basic Pokemon, but still... Um, you want to get rid of that Skyfield. Also, get rid of that Shaman off your bench is a big one. Otherwise, the, all Dean needs is Guzma to uh, close out the game here. So yeah, need it. Want to see it? Drayden wants to see a Field Blower here. It's the only card he really needs this turn. I don't think he's traded yet. There's four cards. Another Zerua is also great here from Drayden. Um, set up another Zorak. Uh, I don't know if he's looking for eggs, but eggs don't work anyways. There's the trade of the Wob one two. That is not a Field Blower. Skyfield is going to stay in play. Poke comes away a Trubbish. Uh, checking what's left. There is the, uh, what's it called? Looks like he's eyeing up Shaman, but you can't play down the Shaman uh, because of the muck in play. Um, we'll see if he forgets that here. Because um, definitely the Zerua should be hitting the field here. Yeah, the Zerua should definitely be hitting the field here. There's no reason for a Zerua to not be benched here. There's just going to be the brightest beating knockout, though, not even benching the Zerua. I don't understand that at all. It potentially gives you another trade there from Drayden. I don't understand why you would never not bench the Zerua here. Uh, over to Dean's side, all, like I said, now all he needs is Guzma. Drayden did not find the Field Blower, so all he needs is Guzma. Bring up the Shaman and knock it out. Uh, we'll see if he's got it. I don't think it's in his discard pile. Could potentially trade into it. Drayden at three prizes, so there's no way for Drayden to win on his next turn. Uh, another way for Dean to win would be to just fill his bench and then knock out uh, Drayden's, uh, what's it called? Wonder Tag, can't Wonder Tag. Uh, there's a muck. All right, there we go. I don't know if they're going to make a big deal out of this. He has the computer search anyways for the Guzma. All right, looks like they're going to make an issue out of this. Uh, it's not a huge deal. I'm not sure what they want to see here. Um, we're going to game three, though. Uh, Dean has the Guzma for the... What's it called? All right, the Guzma for the, uh, he's got the Guzma for the uh, Shaman knockout. All right, looks like, uh, yeah, we got Drayden going first, open Wob, bench Trubbish, and his, the rest of his hand did not look good. He got the red card on Dean, and then, yeah, it's going to be a pass from there over to Dean. Uh, yeah, could be rough for Dean. The Wob start plus the red card. I think Dean does play two Shaman, so those are uh, locked out of play. Trades will be locked out of play for a while as well. Um, and we're looking at, uh, I don't know, Juniper would be pretty good here. Lele is still active. We'll see what these four are. I see Zerua, Choice Band, Draw for Turn. Lele, there we go. Zerua, Zerua, who even needs Bridget. And Dean does play, uh, the one of Juniper. I was going to say Sycamore, but it is the Juniper. Um, which is really nice for these kinds of situations, having that, uh, just raw draw card in the deck. Yeah, so the Juniper... Colrush would, wouldn't be, would, Colrush would be okay here, not great. You definitely don't want to end as Drayden just went draw, red card, pass. So this is where Juniper really shines. You don't see a ton of it in Expanded anymore. Colrush really is the the king of uh, draw supporters, but uh, sometimes it's nice to just have a, a good old Juniper in the deck for situations like this. A choice Man as well. Yeah, Bench Zerua, I like it on the bench one as well. Save it. Don't want your Zerua to bench get knocked out with it. Uh, there's for seven. I see a Zorak, I see an Ultra Ball, I see a Battle Compressor, I think. Uh, I see an Egg. Uh, the rest of the hand actually is not that great, uh, but we could just see him get a... Uh, looks like he's going to look eyeing up discarding a Zorak, potentially. Uh, I think he might have a Stretcher in hand. Uh, well, no, there's a Stretcher in deck. I think he plays one Stretcher, one Super Rod. So Egg for sure should be hitting the discard pile. Well, Wob won't be active forever. Also would be good to see him get, uh, oh, he's going to go for the Guzma. I was going to say maybe a Colrus, but he does have the uh, Lele in hand. So he can Lele for the Colrus. Especially if there's only one Colrus in the deck, I don't want to see him get rid of Colrus. I want to see him keep the Colrus here. Yeah, get rid of AZ. AZ is fine with me. So Guzma, Egg, AZ. Uh, keeps the Colrus in the deck because he has Lele in hand. Um, yeah, looks good to me. Debating benching the Ditto. I don't know if I like seeing that being benched when Wobbuffet is out and about. And yeah, not a big fan of the Ditto coming down. Because it could be... Oh, he's thinking about benching Pseudo as well. Definitely don't want to do that. That would have been a big mistake there from Dean. All right, end top deck here from Drayden. 
Gonna reset this game. Yeah, that would have been a big mistake from Dean to bench the uh, Pseudo Wudo. Um, I actually would have liked to have seen the Pseudo Wudo get benched over the Ditto, though, for sure. I, I, I think Dean should be a little bit more aggressive about putting Pseudo Wudo into play in this matchup. Super strong at limiting your opponent. Um, so I don't like that from Dean. Yeah, should have kept the Ditto, bench the Pseudo Wudo. That's right, he had that in hand. That's definitely better. Um, definitely good he didn't bench both, because then if Drayden hadn't end him, I would have ended up with uh, full bench and could not have lay laid for uh, the Colrus. All right, hopefully we see some life out of Drayden, and not with that hand. <laughs> that hand, he has the garb, and he has the tool. Um, held off on putting down the tool on the garb. Means Dean has access to Lele, but it keeps you access to stuff. Yeah, I guess I'm fine with that. That makes sense to me. Um, but Dean's hand is pretty good, it looks like. Communication away the muck. Um, and I would just, I would just, I would get a Zora carrier. The chance of you not drawing a bench, uh, basic Pokemon is super low here from Dean. So yeah, I like to see him just go with the Zora carrier. You get one more draw off the Colrus, I guess, if you just get the basic, and then you for sure get the knockout. That's still reasonable. I'm not sure which is for sure the best. You're almost, almost, uh, uh, you're actually not getting that many cards with this Colrus, are you? Yeah, okay, I actually like this from Dean then. Whenever I think of Colrus drawing cards, it's usually like up in the, up in the teens, you know. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, it's up there usually. This is a this is a small chorus though, so I actually like him getting getting the basic Pokemon here instead. Confirm the knockout on the Wob, especially when you know your opponent is drawing it. Not so good. Be aggressive about knockouts for sure. You still have a trade. There's another Zork. You'll have another trade. There we go. I don't really see his hand, so I can't tell what his trade options are. It looks like Sudowoodo Sudowoodo does not look great in the hand though, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that get it tr traded away here. Whoa! Oh sorry, he can't trade. There's a Wob. <laughs> okay. I was like, wait, why not? Why didn't you trade? But yeah, there's a Wob. So no trades. Here's gonna be a course for five from Drayden. <laughs> really poor start from him. Like actually insanely poor start from Drayden. Uh, gonna be the chorus for five and he needs a basic Pokemon here. Otherwise he is actually just going to lose to this Garb being knocked out by the right is beating on Dean's turn. So here we go. Chorus for five or five. There's a Zerua. There's two Zeruas. All right, we're in business here for Drayden. Back over to Dean. And now has access to trades. There's the trade at number one. I would definitely like to see the Skyfield come into play and that Waba, uh, Sudowoodo come into play. Not Wabafet, Sudowoodo. There's another trade. Yeah, Dean is so far ahead right here. Um, yeah, so I definitely would like to see Sudowoodo hit the field. Make sure uh, Drayden has no chance of knocking out one of your Zoroks next turn. Um, and just set yourself up better to start one-shotting his Zorok GXs. No reason not to set up another Zork. I don't think he's eyeing up the Guzma. No, no, don't go with the Guzma. KO the Garb. If your opponent can't Garb you, they can't make that big comeback. We, we saw it in game one. Dean left Garb alive, and then Drayden made a huge comeback in the game. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't like this Guzma here from Dean. Just play the Skyfield, put Sudowoodo in play, lock up Drayden's bench, knock out the Garbodor, take away the Garbodor option from Drayden. He still has a Zeru in play. He can still do that. You're giving him the potential to pop off with Shaman, and then you just potentially lose the game once again by N plus Garbotoxin. Really do not like this play from Dean. It, it's super risky for no reason. You KO the Garb, you're so far ahead. You have Sudowoodo in play because of the Skyfield that he should be playing down. I, yeah, I really do not like this play at all from Dean. Super unnecessary. Just take the take the, the straight path and just, just get rid of it all. Um, he can put the Muck in play here, I guess, which does take away the Shaman option from Drayden. But better to give your opponent no options than any options. Um... Muck's gonna come down. I like this. Um, I would like to see. I guess Sudo would hitting the field doesn't make any sense anymore. It doesn't do anything anymore. Muck is pretty good at limiting his options, but I would still like to see the Garb knocked out here from Dean. Take away the Garbodor option. Don't give uh, Drayden the comeback potential of Garbotoxin plus N. Um, it's still a possibility here. Uh, he's got Bridget and Chorus in hand. I actually think I would like to see Drayden play Bridget here. Uh, set up well. Can you afford to do that? Dean's at four prizes. We'll probably go back. Neat GX knockout next turn. Uh, yeah, you could have afforded to uh, Bridget here as Drayden. You could have Bridgeted for Zerua, Zerua, Zerua. I don't even think you have that many Zeruas left. Zerua, Zerua, Trubbish. Um, and then you look for Dean will fill his bench, knock out your active, and then you look for Stand in Knockout. And then on the next turn, look for N plus Zorak GX Knockout. Um, so I think from Drayden here, I would have liked to have seen him just Bridget look to set up a little bit more. Um, yeah, definitely would have liked to have seen uh, Drayden go with the Bridget there. But here we are with the Colrus for not so many. Uh, we have an Ultra Ball. That can get us another Zerua here. I definitely would like to see Drayden trade first, though. 
Um, I don't think he's traded off yet, and he can definitely still... Tr I don't think he's traded yet. I could be wrong. Uh, he's looking through his deck. It looks like there's no Zeru is available. Ditto's not very good either. It looks like the... Does that mean he prized two Zeru's? I think it does, right? He prized two Zeru's. All right. So just horrible opening draw here from Drayden into no follow-up. He gets Ditto, but that will never evolve into a Zorark because of the muck. So I definitely would like to have seen him grab a Trubbish here. Oh, man. This is actually just... So bad here for Drayden. Yeah, there's no way he's coming back in this. Um, yeah, he hasn't traded yet. Once again, I would like to see him traded first, trade first before the Ultra Ball. There's a red card. That'll help Drayden a little bit. And no reason for Ditto not to hit the field here. Um, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, pass back over to Dean. Dean looking for the Skyfield plus three basic Pokemon. And then once he knocks out the Zorak, the game is pretty much over. Uh, no potential follow-up here from Drayden at all. Um, no Zeruas, can't you stand in, uh, the Ditto can't evolve because of the muck, uh, it's all kinds of bad here for Drayden, and then this one's gonna be over in just a couple turns, I think, here, or I wouldn't even be surprised to see him scoop, uh, after Dean knocks out this Zorark, uh, if he does knock out the Zorark, I guess it is still possible for him to whiff, uh, we do see the Via Seeker for the Chorus as an option here for Dean, I expect that to happen, probably, I would like to see him attach Grass to the Lele to give him a pivot, and then just go via Seeker for Chorus, there's no reason to trade before you Chorus here, you're always playing Chorus here, yeah, I don't like this trade here from Dean, it doesn't make any sense, always Chorus first, um, he is rewarded with the Computer Search, which I'm sure will grab him a Skyfield, though, um, he's gonna go with the second trade, and another basic Pokemon, so he is getting rewarded here for trading first, um, I would like to see him just go with Chorus, personally, Third trade coming down. One, two. Um, so that should be about it. That's at least two basic Pokemon and then computer search for the Skyfield. So he's, if he doesn't have it right now, he's super close. I think he can actually play out his whole hand to get the knockout here. Um, takes the Guzma. Guzma's up the Garb. Now he's going after Garb. Instead of just knocking out the Zorark, I don't think he's... Yeah, he did play... So I'm confused now by Dean's play. Because Garbodor isn't a comeback factor in this game anymore because Drayden has nothing to knock out your Zorark with. So why wouldn't you just get the Skyfield as Dean, put the Skyfield in play, and then just knock out the active Zorark? I'm super confused by this play from Dean. Because um, there's no potential for Drayden to knock out your Zorark next turn if you knock out his Zorark. So just... Computer search? Grab the uh, Skyfield out of the deck. Bench some Pokemon. Be a Seeker Chorus. Uh, knock out the Zorak GX. Yeah, I have no idea what what that play was from Dean. Um, super unnecessarily slow. Like, the Ability Lock Arb is no longer a comeback factor for, for Drayden once you knock out the Zorak. Because he literally can't do anything on his next turn. Drayden can't. There's literally nothing he can do. Uh, he doesn't have his rule on his bench. The Ditto can't evolve because of the muck. So he's stuck with a Ditto that can't evolve and a Garbodor. Um, and then you could have just knocked out his active as, uh, as Dean. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Um, maybe Dean is just so far, he knows he's so far ahead. He knows it doesn't matter. <laughs> and it really doesn't. Uh, he really is that far ahead, but, uh, Still curious uh, about that play for sure. Uh, egg coming down. Maybe he thought the Ditto could evolve. Um, and he was like, then, oh, then he could make the comeback of of the play that he did in game one. Um, but that's not the case here. The Ditto cannot evolve. We even see Trading trade away DCEs here. Um, and then Wright is beating for 100. All right, maybe now we'll see Dean take the one-shot knockout. Don't know why he didn't do it last turn once again. Could Computer Search fill his bench and then play Colrus and then trade, but he's trading first here. Once again, would just like to see him set up to just, like, blow Drayden out of the water here. Um, instead, I think he's unnecessarily uh, going a roundabout way here. Um, yeah, I definitely would like to have seen him just go Computer Search for Skyfield, play Skyfield, bench a bunch of Pokemon via Seeker Colrus. Um, go from there. Um, being hesitant once again is Dean. Not sure why, once again. Float sounds cool here. Preserve this DCE. Go to the Zorak that has the DCE in the Choice Band. Um, Skyfield should come down now, finally. And then we got the Bench uh, Wimpod, Bench uh, Sudowoodo, and I just need one more Pokemon. Uh, Grimer is definitely better to Bench than Lele. And then probably see him play the Chorus. Maybe not if he's got game set up in hand. 
who looks like he's got an Ultra Ball. Yeah, get rid of Lele, get rid of the Zorak, get the fourth Zorak GX in play, and then Chorus for eight, for sure. There it is, the four Zorak GX, and yeah, there's no way uh, Drayden's coming back in this one, despite the peculiar plays from from uh, from Dean. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess as we're winding down here, waiting for Dean to finally finish off Drayden, as he trades again, once again, before Chorusine. Stop doing that, don't do that, cut it out. Um... Yeah, um, peculiar plays here from the end from D. Doesn't even use the chorus. Doesn't have game guaranteed in hand. Or he might actually with the computer search. I would just use the chorus there. Just draw all the cards. Um, see an ultra ball here from Drayden. There's really nothing he can do. Uh, <laughs> special charge for DDC. Uh, we're coming down to the end here. Um, I think he maybe gets an N. Uh, not really worth sticking out the rest of this. Yeah, there's nothing he can do here. Dean's going to take this one 2-1 in the end. <laughs> Um, so a little bit of sloppy play overall from both players. Uh, peculiar plays in the end here from Dean. Um, but overall, we do see the Zoropod out on top with some unfortunate draws in the end there from Drayden. Not only did he draw really slow in the beginning here of Game 3, but he also prized two Zorua. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. If you are uh, enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Um, links in the description for my Twitch live stream, as well as social media links. Check all that cool stuff out. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.